you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, we just give you praise this morning. You're so worthy. You're so worthy of all of our praise, and we just thank you. Good morning, my beloved sister. I'm thankful this morning. Amen. You know, the song was just playing, How Great Thou Art. How great thou art. And you know, when I stop and I think of the awesomeness of our God, who is also our Heavenly Father, oh my, I'll tell you something. It just makes my heart go to rest. My heart is filled with peace and joy. Oh my goodness, you know. You know, the scripture tells us, Peter tells us to grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, Kelly. Grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said, this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, even Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. You know, the more we come to know his faithfulness, the more our hearts go to rest in his love. Amen. It is just so wonderful when our hearts are persuaded of this truth. You know, you can tell somebody about this and they can say yeah but you know until their heart is persuaded of the faithfulness of our Heavenly Father our hearts don't go to rest and I'll tell you something you know when you set your affection on the things above that's what the Apostle Paul said in uh, Colossians 3 he says, set your mind on things above, okay, not on the things of the earth, okay? If you look at what's going on in the world, and it, that is your focus, it can cause your heart to be um, troubled, you know? But when you have your eyes on that which is eternal, that which you cannot see, then your heart just goes to rest. Because, you know, the Apostle Paul says, we walk by faith and not by sight. He's not saying blind faith. No, faith is the eyes of your spirit. Faith is the ability to see what the natural eye cannot see. Amen. That's why when you're in peace, when everything around you is in turmoil, the carnal man can't see what you see and they can't understand it. Amen. What did Paul say in 1 Corinthians chapter 2? It says, the natural man cannot perceive or conceive the things of the spirit but he that is spiritual discerns all things amen and I'll tell you something <laughs> if it weren't for Jesus I'd be blind as a bat amen you know it's no glory to any person that they have eyes to see you know it's just like Jesus said to his disciples he says, you've not chosen me. I've chosen you. Amen. And so Jesus said, no man can come to the Father unless I draw him. And no man can come to me except the Father draw him to me. So you know what? It's the, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost that's got it all going on and is drawing us into an ever... Um, enlightenment you know the apostle paul says that i pray that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened 
that you may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, depth, length, height of the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's a knowledge that per, uh, surpasses knowledge. It's a, it's a, um, oh Jesus, hallelujah. It's spirit to spirit. Amen. Sometimes you can get a download of something from the Holy Spirit that will make your brain go tilt. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey there, uh, Ray. How you doing, girl? It's a glorious day today. Amen. God is so good. And, uh, you know, He's got us. He's got us in, in the palm of His hands. You know, He doesn't forget us like some people. Amen. Because the scripture says he has us engraved in the palm of his hand. And you know what? I really think that's the nail prints. Amen. How, how can he forget? Amen. That, that love that caused him to go to the cross could never forget us. Amen. Well, I'll tell you something. Just, you know, rejoice in the Lord today. Put you on some good worship music and let your heart soar. Amen. Let your heart soar in the heavenly realm and just cast all of your cares upon him because he cares for you. Amen. Well, kids, have a blessed day and um, that's it.